Yeah, what do you think about this advertisement, huh? I know it's sick. Go over to betrefs.com. When playing Counter-Strike, skins have always been the most interesting thing to me about the game. Yeah, they look nice and they'll improve your skill in game, but are skins actually worth it in 2021? That is the question, so let's get right into it. There's a few different aspects when it comes to actually determining if a skin is worth it or not. One of the main reasons being, do you really want to spend money on pixels just to play with the pixels? Or do you want to buy the pixels to make money? So this is more of a personal thing. If you have extra money laying around and you just want to have more fun in game, get yourself a nice skin. Who cares? You can always cash it out afterwards. Make sure that if you're cashing out your items, you do it on a safe website such as Bitskins or Skinport. And this is not sponsored, by the way. If you're just buying items to gamble them away, then I'd suggest buying something from a third-party website such as Skinport or Bitskins, where they usually discount these skins for a high percentage. All right, so those are the personal things. But if you want to buy skins to make a profit on them because of the current market they're in, let's take a look at the current market for CSGO items and determine if they're worth buying in or not and i'm in no way a financial whatever guy who helps you with this but i just think it's fun to look at and share my two cents on it with you guys all right so we're on the steam market let's take a look at the most like baseline skin there is which is the ak red line in the field testing condition if there's any other baseline skins then let me know in the comments down below but this is the skin I'm going to be looking at right now. Obviously, right now wouldn't even be a bad time to buy. Maybe you're a little bit late because of the operation over here. This is the operation drop, obviously. Always a massive drop. But if we go zoom in on the last month, skins were doing pretty all right. This skin was trading for about 13 bucks, 13 euros. And then the operation dropped it all the way down to 11. So that's a 2 euro decrease. That's quite big. But if we now zoom in on actually what i do is i just zoom in and then i double click and then it zooms out like for the lifetime i don't know why i do that because i could just click lifetime here if you look at the overall graph these skins use a trade for 35 a piece that's at their total top but if you now take a look at look at how professional i'm going to draw these graphs right i'm going to draw them from the lowest point to the highest point you can obviously see a long term trend you can see that there's a long-term tr upgoing trend so in that aspect yeah if you want to buy skins for investment and keep them for a long time it's probably not a bad idea but if you want to flip skins on the short term then i actually don't have much experience with that actually close to none but i just look at like when csgo is releasing an operation because obviously look at this drop that should cover the fees because obviously you have to think about the fees when trading on the steam market but overall for a long term just hold them and for a short term just look out for operation drops or maybe think about things like christmas like people are going to be buying more skins on christmas because they have more money to spend but after that they might sell them so it's almost like the real stock market not that i have much information on that think about it like that when are people rich and when are people broke just kind of play in on that if you want to do it for the short term but if you're actually trading it like that on the Steam market, it's probably a bad idea because of the fees that Steam or Valve is taking from you. So to answer the title of this video, it totally depends on what you're actually going to do with the skins. Are you just going to play with them or are you just going to buy them to trade them and try and make a profit? If you're just going to play with the skins, sure, they're worth it because you're going to have a lot more fun in game and you're going to be more confident when playing with the skins. And if you have more confidence, you play better, you get a higher rank, and overall, you'll just have more fun. But if you want to buy skins purely for an investment purpose, I would also say yes. Obviously, I am talking about the long-term investments because the long-term trend has been going up for so long, I think it's actually not a bad investment. Because of the red line being so stable in this graph, it kind of shows the median for where the market is at. Because I remember the days where the red line was actually like 5 bucks. And right now it's trading at almost 15 bucks. So would I have bought $1,000 worth of AK red lines when I saw them at $5? I would have been at 3k right now. So I mean that's a... That's a pretty nice profit. But honestly, who says that the AK red line is not going to be at 45 bucks in three or four years from now? Who decides that? Nobody. Unless the game actually completely dies out or it gets more players. And to be honest, Counter-Strike is such a base FPS type of game. I don't think it's going to die anytime soon. Google Trends might say something different, but what I think is very important to mention is that when Valorant came out, a lot of Counter-Strike players, for example, went to Valorant. 
They played the game for about a month and then actually kind of eased back into Counter-Strike because Counter-Strike is just that game. It's always going to be there. It's always going to be the same. If that game is always going to be around, I think skins are only going to be going up in price. Also, if you take a look at SteamCharts.com and you take a look at their all-time graph for Counter-Strike, it is almost at an all-time high. So... No matter what Google Trends says, I actually think Counter-Strike is only growing and growing. And obviously, the growing game is a big aspect for investing or determining if skins are worth it or not. More players, more skins, a higher value. Oh yeah, if you made it this far into the video, dude, stickers. Just look into stickers, because if you apply them once, you can't use them anymore. You can't trade them or sell them once they're on a gun. So if you actually want to make some money by investing for a long term, or long term investment, just holding these stickers is going to be a great thing. However, you have to make sure that these stickers are not buyable from the game. You have to make sure that they're actually limited and that they aren't uh, purchasable anymore or whatever, however you say that. Okay guys, so I want to make more skin videos and this is my first actual like skin 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 video And I just wanted to talk about a topic Obviously, I might redo this video in the future if I have more knowledge on it But I'm just slowly getting into it if you liked it and if you have any questions down below Just drop a like and let me know in the comments down below dude because I want to make more videos about skins I've genuinely always liked skins more than the actual playing of the game So this is the direction I want to take with my channel obviously I'm still going to be playing the game, but I'm going to be playing the game with some fat ass skins. So if you're excited for that, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications. And that was it for today's video. If you have some, if you, give it, it's a minute, uh, in it, in it, next video. Peace out, guys. Yo, yo, thanks for watching the video. Click on the left or the right if you want to see more videos and check out my websites, betrefs.com. You can claim $10 for free from other gambling websites. Next to that, I have Skinaways, which simply lists all of the active giveaways onto one page. See you guys later.